Hey there, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about something essential for all you Java learners. JDBC connectivity. Don't worry if you haven't heard about it before. We will break it down in simple way. Let's dive right in. What is JDBC connectivity? Okay, imagine you have a Java program and you want to talk it to database. That's where JDBC connectivity comes into the picture. It's like a bridge that connects your Java program and the database so they can exchange information smoothly. Next, key components. Now let's understand the key parts of JDBC connectivity. JDBC API. This is a set of ready-made tools that Java provides. These tools tell your Java program how to talk to the database like what to say and how to listen Understand? next comes to the jdbc driver it's another key component it's like a translator between your java program and the database it helps convert the stuff your program says into the language that the database understands and the vice versa next how jdbc works Time to break down how this whole thing works. Import libraries. First, you have to import the ready-made tools, JDBC API that Java offers so your program can use them. Load the driver. Next, you load the translator, JDBC driver. A translator means a JDBC driver to make sure your program and the database can understand each other. Establish connection. Now it's time to create link to the database. Think of it as a phone call. You need to dial the right number. That is the connection URL and provide your name, username and the secret code. That's the password to get in. Next step, create statements with the connection setup. You can now talk to the database using a statements. It's like a sending specific messages to the database. Next, execute queries. These messages, messages can be questions. It is like a queries. Like, give me all the data related to data to this topic or add this new data. It means fetching a data or inserting the data. Uh, you have you learned right SQL in the SQL. You use queries to insert and extract, retrieve the data. Next. Process the results. The database replies to your questions and you process the answers you get. You might use this data in your program or check if the update you requested was successful. At the last close connection, after the conversation is over, it's polite to end the call. Close the connection. So that's once time is wasted. Advantages of JDBC connectivity. Why use JDBC connectivity? Here are some cool bugs. Platform independence. It doesn't matter which computer or operating system you are using. JDBC works everywhere. Database support. It can talk to many types of database like MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL and more. Performance. It's quick and efficient so you don't have to wait forever to get your data. So there you have it folks, JDBC connectivity helps your Java program chat with database like old pop. If you found this video helpful, give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, stay curious, keep coding and we'll catch you in the next video and we will explain in practical way of these things.